guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development. In today's video, we are gonna be going over the hammer strength row, both a rear delt and upper back bias. But before we get into that, we would absolutely love if you could go ahead and subscribe and leave us a comment about the next exercise video that you want us to do. Now, of course, when we're talking about a certain muscle group that we are targeting, let's learn a little bit about it. So I'm gonna have Alex go ahead and turn around here. When I talk about this biasing the upper back, it is going to be biasing more of the upper traps as well as being able to have this rear delt. And when we're working the upper back and the rear delt, the arm path that we wanna have here is either going to have this elbow more out to the side or it's gonna be more in this 45 degree angle, depending on, again, what our exact target is. So within this exercise. It's more of a grip it and rip it exercise. There's not going to be too much of a specific bias. So let's go ahead and get into it. So with me saying this is a grip it and rip it exercise, what that really means is you're able to get insane output. And a lot of that comes from the stabilization from this exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and have Alex take a seat here. And as you see, he has stabilization not only sitting in the seat, but he has his chest and part of his core pressed up against that chest support. And then he also has his feet to drive against that bar right in the center there to give him, again, more support. What he's gonna do here is go ahead and reach forward and he's gonna put his hand in his grip right where it starts to turn on the corner and he's gonna have a semi-pronated grip. And this is going to allow him to really be able to drive that elbow out without too much discomfort and keeping the tension on the upper back and rear delt. So his focus here, and he's gonna do a few reps, is driving that elbow out and then driving that back in towards the spine just a little bit. And I'm gonna have him go through a few more reps. Now, when setting your seat height, you wanna be aware of where your arms are in relation to the machine. So I'm gonna have Alex just reach his arms directly in front of him. And you see that because it is going to have a little bit of a downward angle with that chest support, if he leans into that, then those forearms are going to be in line exactly with those handles and then with the tissue as well. So if you're wondering where to put your seat, this is gonna vary on your individual body type, but we're gonna go ahead and show you a few wrong examples of where a seat shouldn't be for Alex. In this first video, you'll see Alex with his seat a little bit too high for him. And then you also see his shoulders start to have some internal rotation. We want to focus on our shoulder remaining neutral and our forearms staying parallel to the floor. In this next video, here's Alex with his seat far too low for him to be able to target that upper back and rear delts. And you start to see some external rotation at the shoulder where again, we want that neutral. Hopefully seeing those visuals of the different seat heights was helpful for you guys, but that's it. It's a pretty straightforward exercise. But if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about the different muscle groups, we do have a podcast series on every single muscle group. So we'll have that linked in the description box.